Your kitchen display system comes ready to set up and start managing orders in just minutes. In the box, you'll find the kitchen display, power cord, power brick, and a quick start guide. You may also have received the optional countertop stand or wall mount. Your kitchen display is compatible with many types of stands and mounts. For installation, reference the manual that came with your specific stand or wall mount. Let's get your kitchen display powered on and connected. Plug the power brick into the base of the kitchen display system and connect the power cord to the brick before plugging into a wall outlet. To power on your kitchen display, press the power button at the bottom of the device. Select the language for your setup. Now let's connect to your network and activate your device. You can connect via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We'll walk through connecting to each. To connect via Ethernet, connect an Ethernet cable to the base and then to your modem or router. Your device will automatically connect to the internet and notify you when successfully connected. Just be sure to turn off any Wi-Fi networks. To connect to a wireless network, tap Wi-Fi and select your network. Enter the password and follow the prompts. Your device may update software and restart. Now that you're connected, Clover Support will send you an activation code by email or text, whichever was used to set up your merchant account. Enter the eight digit activation code. Your device will now update the apps that come pre-installed on your system and sync your account data. Next, let's launch and set up the kitchen display app. Tap Get Started, then open the kitchen display app and follow the prompts. First, name your kitchen display. Now, choose between kitchen or expo mode. Kitchen mode will display all items that use an existing printer firing label. Expo mode displays all items and orders across the restaurant. You can also filter by firing labels and choose how to display your tickets. Tap the gear icon to change your preferences or customize further. Ticket interaction controls whether you'll scroll to navigate tickets or use up and down buttons. Under courses, you'll set whether to show each course as a separate ticket. Adjust your ticket timing for when orders go from yellow to red. This helps the kitchen prioritize tickets and stay on track. Filter tickets by order type to include dine-in, takeout, or delivery. To print runner tickets, select Configure Printers. Add a kitchen order printer to the same network and select the printer. Now, go back to the settings to choose whether to print tickets when the order is ready or complete. To exit the Kitchen Display app, tap Quit. In Settings, you can change device preferences such as network, sound, and display. And don't forget to give your kitchen staff login access in the employee's app. All set. Here's how it works. When an order is fired to the kitchen, it'll appear on the kitchen display. And when an individual item is ready, tap the item. To undo, tap the item again. If the entire order is ready, select the ticket menu and mark completed. Last, it's simple to switch between active and completed orders. Here, you can undo the status of a completed order. To learn more about getting started, go to clover.com help.